What's good everyone? Welcome back to EMC. I am in the 992 GT3 and I'm sorry to tell you guys, I'm selling her. This is the last time that y'all are gonna see the 992 GT3 PTS Ruby Star Red in the EMC blogs. I'm gonna take this car to the new owner right now. You know what, for all the car nerds, the car geeks, the gearheads out there, especially in Taiwan, I know that you guys already know I sold the car because by the time that you guys are watching this, time has already passed. It was a very, very difficult decision. I'll explain on the way to meet the new car owner. So let's get going. guys so the big question why am I selling the 992 GT3 well there's a multitude of reasons I will get into each but the first reason is actually because of my job my career uh, my acting career my entertainment career has pumped up again and uh, I'm getting a ton of work and guys, I'm gonna be 40 in a month. I feel like I have to focus on my career a little bit more because my responsibility as a father and a husband, you know, is really, really creeping up more and more, especially when Katia is getting older. I feel like 40 to 50 years old, the next 10 years of my life, I really got a set, a good example for all the younger viewers out there that are supporting me, but also my daughter and my family, and I want to prove that I can still be on the top of my game as an actor and do EMC at the same time. So I'm not really going to be able to enjoy this car. This has always been a drag for me because I've always wanted to spend more time in this car. I've always wanted to take it to the track. I feel like this is where the GT3 really belongs. I don't want to say the GT3 doesn't fit me, but I think at this point in my life, I think there are others that are more suitable than me for the GT3. Someone such as the new car owner, and you guys will see him very soon. But this does not mean that I don't love the GT3. The 992 GT3, I have to say, is one of the best cars I've ever owned. Uh, another reason is the GT3 market. Wow, it's peaked. The value of these cars are so high. The new car owner made an offer that was really difficult for me to refuse. And because it was such a good offer, I felt like the timing was good. I don't know how long the value of these will stay, you know, at such a high level. Uh, I'm assuming that it will still stay this high for a period of time. So I will be looking for a new car. My next car will be another project car because, you know, it's something that I can tinker with. It's something that I can modify. And also uh, with this GT3, there was really not much to do to it. These are the things that I guess bother me about this car because I am not a race car driver, so I'm not going to spend that much time at the track every weekend or every other weekend trying to get better track times and becoming a serious race car driver. Guys, I know what I just said sounds a little bit weird coming from a hardcore car guy, but I am a hardcore car modifying guy that feels like this is a part of my lifestyle and everything that I do with these project cars um, I enjoyed the whole entire process from doing all the homework and then the build and then knowing that there's progress and then with all the power mods you see the power gains and then with all the exterior modifications you make something even prettier and more badass and then when it's all finished you drive it you feel it that's where my passion is and that's where my passion lies with EMC because I feel like you're supposed to enjoy this whole entire process and it has become my lifestyle. And that's what EMC really is. And that's 
what I embody. I want to include all of the lifestyle things with cars. And you know, I'm an outdoorsy kind of guy. I love sports. I love hanging out at the beach. I love going surfing. I love going diving. I like taking my daughter on vacations. And when I have spare time, going to the track, going to run on the canyon roads, you know, this isn't exactly my first option when I have that spare time because cars to me is just something that when I'm not working, I want to enjoy. I get away from work and I, and I love what I'm doing with cars, which is the build, the process, the project. And that's what I'm about. And that's what I wanted to share with EMC, starting with the very first vlog of my very first project on EMC, which was the 993 Turbo S Look Carrera S. You know, that car was what started it all. And it's led me and it's led EMC to what it is today. And I just wanna appreciate everyone out there that's been supporting me. I want to let you guys know that I am forever a Porsche fanboy. And I did put a deposit down for the 992 GT3 RS. Hopefully, Porsche Taiwan will give me an allocation. Guys, if you're watching, please. But, it's the same with the 992 GT3. If I get the 992 GT3 RS, I wouldn't know what else to do with it because it's perfect. It comes out of the box, out of the factory, perfect. I mean, what else is there to do? Maybe besides an exhaust, maybe headers, so it can sound a little louder. But you know, with the Vysok package, I wouldn't want to touch anything else on the car. So yeah, of course, I had beautiful memories in this car. We took it for road trips. We enjoyed it as a daily driver. We put it on the EMC vlog multiple times. Um, I even had fun with the FI exhaust, making it more badass. But you know what, guys? The decision is final. I'm really selling her. I'm sorry if you guys don't like the decision, but you guys are gonna have to wait because I will have something coming out very, very soon. So, I hope you guys understand my decision. And if you don't, well, too bad. I'm selling her. So let's go meet the new car owner. Guys, so this is who I'm selling the car to. What's up, Chester? What's up, man? So, that's right. Yeah, 大家应该早就知道了，因为我知道你们这些一直在 follow 我。太厉害了，对，太厉害，完全拦不住。对，我已经是已经保密很久了。I've been keeping it a secret, but anyway, Chester, 恭喜你。因为说实话，应该是只有你这种人是真的比较适合。开 GT 三，我刚刚也解释了在影片我为什么要卖车，呃，那我也不确定大家会不会理解，说从我的角度，嗯哼，但是因为 EMC 这边，因为我们都是很喜欢改装的部分，这个太难改装了，对对对，然后再来就是我我多余的时间，我是一个很喜欢运动的人，然后我也很喜欢呃去海边或者什么的，所以我知道很多真的很喜欢开车的人。只要有多余的时间，他们肯定是去跑山路啊， yeah. 去赛道啊，力保啊。然后我我有时候在平衡，就说到底要怎么样。Mm -hmm. 所以就是在想要当更好的一个车手的这个计划，我觉得说不定要再延后一点。拜托不要，<笑><笑>因为改车就交给 EMC， 然后赛道就交给我。<笑>对对，这就交给你了。但是这个后面我也是可以请教你，就是我们终于一起下赛道，可以去玩一下。可以，对，然后你跟 Evan、mm。-hmm. 啊、yep. 呃，可以一起。但是哎，我知道过几天是你的生日，对，对不对？哎、啊，就明天，所以真的是，我的 nice birthday present。但是我们 EMC 呢，也是有一些小礼物，谢谢你后面再开 ，OK， 或什么。但是呃，我有一个小东西，我是想先给你看。第一个是我觉得这个很很酷的一个我们的钥匙圈，哦，你们新做的，对对，我们新做的钥匙圈。啊，哇哦！想要的话你再放，我一定会放上去，我一定会放上去。然后当然就是我们 EMC 有做一些新的相片，所以希望你会喜欢。一定会
Anyway， 我会把它收藏摆在家里的各处，每台车上面。<笑>没有，我会一直寄给你的。<笑> yeah. 我们现在就是一直寄给你的。没有，没有问题，没有问题。对啊，但是谢谢，谢谢，谢谢。对啊，但是真的，真的是非常棒的生日礼物、呃。对啊，真的要恭喜你。然后如果有什么改装的，你再分享给大家。我们 E M C 看后面 E M C 有什么可以合作的，的对不对？好不好？那大家如果想看 Chester 跟 E M C 合作的话、yeah. ，comment 评论一下，让我们知道。All right， 一定会有这一天的。All right，、yeah. so。Guys, I appreciate the support, appreciate the love, and、uh, you know this is a happy ending.、Yeah. I'm glad the car is with someone that can actually properly drive this thing and utilize it to its full potential. So hopefully we'll collab on another vlog. But thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon.、Yeah. Peace out, 992 GT3. Hopefully we'll see a new car, new project. Be on the lookout. See you guys soon. Peace. Peace.